this year we've opened up the door for those university students to embark on their own projects, um, each around the issue of communication and uh, around literacy. So we have one student teacher who is uh, constructing a newspaper with the students whilst she's in town. I've taken them out of the classroom and they've gone and asked uh, people in the community about issues and you know it's all about things that actually matter to them. Yeah. But uh, what, did, what did we write about once we did we write, you do? We, we write about how long he's been working there, how he, uh, who owns it and he said the Indigenous people owns that. Yeah and what did we have to say about that? Um, there's not much Indigenous people working there. Yeah. Probably more confident in being able to write questions and go and talk to people. And, um, you know, say interview people. At first we came up with questions and it was all scripted. What we'd ask them then the next time it was, you know, they'd come up with their own questions on the spot in terms of what the people said and, you know, that would kind of lead on. We have other students who are using drama to explore and extrapolate upon the environment of Tennant Creek. <laughs> We're looking at uh, creating an anthology about uh, family and collecting students writing from a range of skill levels about something that's core to their experience. Hi. Um, so, all these talk about family. Family, family, family. And stories. There's, there's heaps of stories. And layers, different layers, and contrasts, and oppositions, and depth. Ultimately, this is what I believe drama is about. Being able to explore your world through enactment. And through this exploration, being able to challenge the present and imagine the future. A lot of you will know we've been um, collecting a lot of writing on family, and running workshops are basically trying to facilitate um, a lot of the students in the school to express what family means to them. Um, and so we'd like to now, um, the three of us, read out uh, just a few of the pieces that the students have written. Sister comes from Alice Springs, crazy brother from Darwin, Tennant Creek family. Uh, Darwin father, sad, lonely, sometimes happy. The Community Action Support Program has as a core central feature something we call cross-generational literacy support. It's based upon a model of ALNF's work whereby we get enthusiastic individuals in the community to be not only teachers of literacy, but role models. And in this case, it's looking at how teenagers can role model reading and the power of reading um, to children at the primary school. I like reading to primary students. I think it's like good because they could learn different languages because the students in, our, in my class, like we have different language groups. And so last year we saw some sort of quite magical moments in which adolescent uh, students, a core group of five or six, gained the skills and the confidence and um, acknowledgement of their role as an educator. And we've seen a quite good engagement from the local elders who provided a key point of mentoring those high school students. Actually going to the um, primary school teaching them activities and stuff and then seeing how happy they were reading books and doing activities with them. I'm going to read a story because I write a story. Then as she cut up the goannas into small pieces, she said, so the young girl just did that. Just seeing the kids engage really actively and well and move from activities and ask questions and see Indigenous role models within that classroom um, is quite important. I think throughout it all, the, all the projects, if we put them together, it's looking at trying to create a culture of literacy, um, an environment in which kids want to actually um, communicate and write about their experiences, um, write because it's someone across Australia that wants to, to read it, or write because someone's going to read their anthology, or read because, oh, Mrs. Nixon uh, down the, um, at Language Centre said it's important to read. And so that's why we're trying to create, through a dynamic way, lots of different cultures of literacy um, so that people are engaged. Motivated. And it's been fantastic having uh, young, new teachers um, in the college. Basically, I think it gives some of the teachers who've been teaching for a while uh, a look at teaching again through fresh eyes. And the kids just love having somebody different in the classroom with them so that they get a new experience and that new look at things. It enlivens the whole school. 
So it's, it, it's really fantastic having them here. To keep doing it, to not quit. Don't give up. Fight for your life. <laughs> <laughs> keep real kids, stay at school, respect one another, have good friendship with one another and get along. Keep it real. <laughs> yeah.